What's up guys, welcome back, and I'm sure you would have never guessed, but here we are, back with another Cray video. And I really hope you're not sick of them yet, as I've still got a ton of footage from this summer, as it's hands down my favourite kind of diving, as every crayfish requires a different approach to catching. But as you can see, here's an epic cave I found back in summer, which was filled with crays. So of course, I didn't hesitate to take a couple. Funny enough, this cray took less time to catch than it did to put in my float. You're gonna need a bigger boat. In this next clip, Daniel had spotted the big cray in a cave and he did the right thing by asking me to watch him from behind as he knew there was a chance that he needed me to pull him out. And it's so important that you have a dive buddy you can trust, especially when you know you'll be pushing yourself in a dive and particularly cray diving, as it can be pretty sketchy at times putting your body in a dark cave. So knowing there's someone right behind you watching you definitely reassures you and gives you that extra peace of mind. So we managed to snare it and I was there behind him waiting and something you might often see divers doing is crossing their legs, which means they need help. So I pulled him out and we secured the cray. Nice. In this next clip, I'd spot the cray that was reasonably far back in the hole, so I opted to use a snare as there's probably a high chance that I'd screw it up if I just went with my hands. But I really like having the option of using the snare in South Australia, as it really helps you secure those crates that you might not be able to get with just your hands, and it also minimises the risk of ripping off any antennas or legs in the process of getting out. So while trying to handle the cray, it manages to catch a hold of my finger with its claw and clamp down. And people often think that these crayfish don't have any claws, but I can assure you they do, and they're really strong and powerful. But thankfully I could get my glove off in time, otherwise it could have seriously ended a lot worse for me. So I recommend, if you're going for crays, to get yourself a good pair of Kevlar gloves. In this final clip, it's probably the easiest cray I've ever grabbed. Anyway, if you made it to the end of the video, I want to thank you for watching, especially to those of you who regularly watch, like, and comment on my videos, as it really does mean a lot to me, as I absolutely love making these videos. But if there's any specific videos you'd like me to make, let me know and I'll see what I can do. But until then, peace out guys.